Welcome to the Bayou Country Music Association show brought to you by our partners with Southern Sound Outfitters and we are also proud members of the Texas Country Music Association. Today's show, I got a very special guest, a Louisiana artist, Mr. Josh Blaze. He's got a new song with us uh, that he brought in today. How's it going, man? Uh, what's going on, brother? How you doing? Man, we're doing good, trying to stay cool out here. It's hot as hell down here in uh, Southern Louisiana. Oh, it's hot up here too, brother. Man, uh, I, I wanted to get you in for a while, man, uh, and get, give the listeners and give our people, you know, uh, a little background of you and stuff. We uh, we had featured uh, your previous single a while back on our, our list, and, uh, you know, it did, did some good things, man, for you. But uh, we we'll, we'll get you a little background, man. Where are you originally from? You're from the southern Louisiana area. Yeah, I'm actually from around the central Louisiana, man. I'm uh, from a small town, uh, Elizabeth, Louisiana. It's about... Uh, 45 minutes south of Alexandria, uh, Odell area. Uh, most people think I'm from Lake Charles. I'm, I moved to Lake Charles to, uh, go to, uh, Magnus State University when I graduated and kind of just, uh, hung around there ever since. But I'm actually from, uh, a small town called Elizabeth, Louisiana. Know it very well, man. Uh, I'm from that small town, Capitio, too, myself. So Elizabeth, I very much know it. My grandfather actually worked out of there, man. Uh, that's awesome, man. So, at what age did you start uh, singing or, or wanting to, you know, maybe have music in your life, man? No, oh, man. I, I I grew up on uh, some good music. Uh, I've always, I've always had a love for music. You know, Keith Whitley, uh, George Jones, Hank Williams, um, Travis Tritt was always one of my favorites. Uh, Alan Jackson. Uh, and even other stuff, you know, uh, ACDC, Leonard Skinner, uh, Bob Seger, stuff like that I grew up on. So I always, I always had a love for music. But uh, I, I don't know, man, I I really had no plan to play music. And uh, I was uh, drinking with my buddies at a bar called Huddle Up back in the college days. And uh, we do karaoke and all this. And, uh, and I'd get good responses and had a young lady come up to me one time and said, tell her I need you to start playing uh guitar and shows and and all this and that and kind of picked it up from there and uh and learned to play guitar and uh had a you know good backing uh with some good guys and uh you know here i am well man ain't nothing wrong with that at all brother i mean i have to say listening to your sound you sound a lot like you look you know fall in the category man of uh that uh brantley gilbert uh you know frank foster rock and roll sound country rock man i i, I love the sound brother yeah man i'm not a i'm not a, a hater of no music i'm not one of them guys that runs around bashing uh pop country or bro country or, or or anything but i mean my stylistically fits me best yes uh the outlaw southern rock kind of uh upbeat Thing. I try to, I try to keep it between the old school and mix some new school into it. You have to. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a fine way of adapting with the uh, with the times. I guess you could say you kind of got to move with the times, or you're not gonna move at all. Yeah, definitely, and uh, I, I definitely, I guess I said that the wrong. I didn't mean that, folks. Uh, in the sense of his his music is is in the same. Uh, has to be that same style. I mean, his voice is in that category of those guys because, I mean, those guys don't just sing one. Brantley Gilbert is a, variety, a vocalist of variety. Uh, he has, you know, obviously some great slow songs as well. So uh, Josh definitely has the vocals to fall in that category, man. He's a great vocalist. I appreciate it, man. It's, uh, it's, it's hard work. People think you just get up on stage and uh, and sing and strum a guitar, and it's... it's it's so much anybody who plays music you know knows it's so much more than that i i've never ever bashed i've been to some places and heard some people that you know i wasn't fond of but i i, I admire anybody who gets up in front of people and uh has, has put in the work to, to learn to play guitar and learn to sing songs and learn to to know songs like the back of their hand because you have to in order to uh play music it's not just hopping up there and singing karaoke off of a screen no man, it definitely is a lot of work that goes into it, and uh, much, much, much uh, appreciated and much, uh, much recognized, man. Now this current single that you just dropped through, you know, radio and you know, Apple Music, Spotify, the whole nine. It's actually just made its debut, and just made its debut actually on charts and on our top thirty, man. Uh, it's called Different Kind of Outlaws. Uh, we have it with us today to play. 
But give us a little background on that, man. Oh man, I was I was in the hunt for a new song, and uh, I was I was planning on planning on writing uh, most of my songs off of my EP. And EP we're currently uh, in a studio working on, and uh, I was kind of in a roadblock as to what what I wanted to go with. I wanted a, my first song was kind of a slower song, so I kind of wanted more something upbeat. Um, and I went on a vacation to uh, Cancun, and. Uh, Got in our rooms, and it, it might have been 4 or 5 o'clock, and it wasn't real late in the evening. And uh, got up to our room, which was on the 12th story, and uh, the way the, the resort was, was all the condos surrounded the pool, so everywhere anybody in the condo could see down to the pool. And uh, we get up to the room, like I said, it's 11th or 12th story, and uh, from the top of the 12th story, you could hear somebody screaming Luke Combs songs in, in the pool. So, uh, sure enough, I look down and, uh, there's a, there's a fella with a red Luke Combs hat on backward, about chest deep in water, double fisting, boat drinks in the air, singing Luke Combs to the top of his lungs. And it wasn't pretty by no means, but to hear that the first time you step in Mexico is, uh, is a treat. And, uh, I ended up going down and I said, I had to be friends with this guy. Well, of course. And, uh, yeah, and I went down and, and uh, you know, got me a drink and introduced myself, and uh, and we got to talking, and then I come out and ask him a little while, I said, man, you've got to be from uh, Texas or Arkansas or Louisiana or somewhere down south, and nothing against nobody, you know, from anywhere that's not in the south, it's just that the persona he put off, it just kind of, you know, reminded me of, of us, and uh, he said, no, man, I'm from the heart of California, I said, and I, I've immediately thought he was joking i said no there's no way i said where are you really from he's like no i'm seriously from california i'm from san diego i said oh man <laughs> and uh he kind of inspired me to write a song and if you listen to the song it's uh it's taking somebody with the same uh with a different lifestyle and and comparing it to comparing contrasting it to your own uh as the part of the whiskey says a uh, part of the song says uh you like homemade uh, wine and uh, you like homemade wine and uh. Well, man, don't ruin it for him. I'll let you just introduce and we'll play the real thing for him, man. Yeah, well, yeah. You want to play it now? Yes, sir. Go. We'll jump right uh, into it. All right, man. Uh, this is uh, Josh Blaze, my new single. And this is called Different Kind of Outlaws. <laughs> Meet a friend traveling through big city town, seeing how they got down with a good man. Took us in, showed us around, took us downtown. He took us dancing and gloving, bought us booze they call bubbly, put some suits on, let some city girls take them all. Cause we all like to party, like to stay up, like to drink till we're bubbling, back up and good loving. We ain't really that different. We like champagne on ice and we like homemade wine Respecting blue lights and believing our rights The same kind of rebel things is all we are Just some different kind of outlaws Call the city man down to all in And showed him around to a different sound He took him hunting and fishing Honky talking, cow tipping, put some jeans on, met some country girls and cut off. <laughs> Cause we all like to party, like to stay up, like to drink to a buzzing, back up and good loving. We ain't really that different from all of y'all. We like to fight for our family and fight for our friends. Trust me, boy, it ain't no different in the sticks. The same kind of rebel things is all. Just some different kind of outlaws Just some different kind of kind of kind of outlaws Different 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 kind of We don't like to party like to stay up like to drink till we're buzzing bad girls and good loving We ain't really that different from all of y'all 
We like to fight for our family and fight for our friends. Trust me, boy, it ain't no different in the sticks. The same kind of rebel things is all in y'all. There's some different kind of outlaws. Just another kind of outlaw. We're just some different kind of outlaws. Different kind of outlaws, man. I like that by Josh Blaze, and I, I made the reference earlier of Brantley Gilbert, man. That that one reminds me almost of uh, Country Must Be Country Wide, man. But that's a, that's a great song, man. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. It's in the same key. D, D's my D's my favorite. Well, that that's a great song. You can get it on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, the, every music outlet. Request it on your radio stations. Go listen to it on our Spotify BCMA Top 30 playlist, and uh, all that's. I mean, you know, you know the drill. So, Josh, I mean, w- what's your plans, man, uh, for the summer? I mean, you got a new single out. Uh, what you got planned, man? Oh man, the, the first part of the year we've been uh, we've been focused on uh, we've been writing and uh, and kind of hustling some stuff, uh, some surprise stuff for the EP. We're actually in the studio now, working on uh, the EP. We got a. We got a tr- track we've uh, kind of made public in the last two weeks. Uh, Jacob Bryant, uh, if you know who he is, you actually did an interview with him last week. He uh, he wrote it as it's called Forever, and I've got a lot of good feedback from that, Mr. Jacob Bryant. And, uh, Daniel Lee, if you don't know who Daniel Lee is, uh, you need to go check him out. But uh, they wrote it together, and Jacob, uh, his album was full, and he pitched it to me, and he, he felt like it would uh, – it would be good for uh, vocally for me, and uh, it was kind of stylistically fit me, and uh, I love it. Uh, Mr. Josh Phillips, um, if you don't know who Josh Phillips is, he wrote uh, a handful of songs for Luke Combs. He's uh, he's on tour with Brandon Gilbert right now. I actually get a cut of the song from Josh uh, Phillips that he wrote about five years ago. Uh, it's probably personally uh, one of the better written songs that I've ever even heard. I was uh, I was super super excited when I found out I got to cut it. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna throw a couple cover songs on the uh, the EP two man uh, different kind of outlaws to be on on it. But uh, we're gonna throw a couple surprise covers on the uh, EP two. So uh, we're kind we're excited, man. Um, get a lot of good feedback from everything so far, and uh, hoping it hoping it continues. Well, that's awesome, man. Yeah, Jacob's a great guy. I, I'm a huge fan of his. Uh, he, obviously, you go check out that interview if you haven't heard it, guys. And uh, yeah, Josh Phillips, he's on our. We have a, a, a Southeast playlist on our Spotify, and he, his Fixer Uppers on there. He's another great guy. I know my buddy Corey Adams with uh, with Swamp Assassin. That's a good friend of his. Uh, we we try to get him on the sh- on the show probably later on in in, in this uh, year. Man, he's a he's a great artist. So uh, that's some 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 good names to have in your uh, in your in your court to say, man. So this EP is going to be good, folks. I can't wait. Uh, is that going to be probably end of the year, or are you thinking next year? Man, we're looking, uh, honestly, we're probably looking at September. Uh, I think, uh, we, we got, I got something in the works right now I can't really spill. Uh, something really, really big. Um, um, I'm trying to give you something without giving you too much, but I'm hoping on a, uh, hoping on a co album release party is, is all I can say that, uh, it's still in the works right now. I should know something here within the week. Um, got my fingers crossed to say and some, some big prayers for, big, big for me and my band. Um, mm-hmm. But um, if that's the case, it'll be uh, in September. If not, uh, we're going to arrange something. We're going to try to arrange something with a few artists. I know I talked to uh, a couple of guys, Cody Forrest, Mr. Clay Cormier, uh, Mr. Ashton Dupre, um, about doing maybe a big, uh, just a big album release party with a, a bunch of local guys. Um, because I feel like uh, we have so much local talent here in in the southern states, you know, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, um, Alabama. Um, it, it's it's hard to, to waste talent, and uh, oh, yeah, man. it needs to be seen. So we're planning on something in that in that field if uh, if my big thing don't land. Well, yeah, man, that's that's definitely the truth. There is no shortage of talent around the southern area, and uh, you you definitely have big things coming. For a reason, man, much much deserved. Now, do you have to keep up with your, your, all your stuff? You keep up with your social medias. You have Instagram, Facebook, all, all that. Yeah, I have a I have an Instagram, uh, a Facebook. It's uh, at Josh Blaze Music. Um, I'm current. 
currently uh, paying somebody to run YouTube. I have no idea how to upload videos. I'm, I'm about more than 50 years too late behind technology. So uh, <laughs> they're, they're supposed to get the uh, YouTube video uh, up and rolling. We're actually um, a sponsor I just recently picked up, a Southern Cooler Co. Um, we're going to do something pretty cool starting, I believe, next week, actually. We're going to do, uh, we're going to call it Southern Cooler Sessions. And uh, once a week, we're going to sit, uh, sit on a cooler and promote the cooler and um, and do a, a cover or an original, uh, like a snippet song and post it to all the social medias, YouTube. So um, we kind of got that to look forward to, so uh, to kind of get people out. Because I, I don't post a lot on social media. It's just it's not something that I do. Um, I don't blow my stuff up. Uh, I know some guys do, and that's, that's, that's cool. That's their thing. I just, it's never been really, uh, social media is just behind for me, really. <laughs> Hey man, ain't nothing wrong with that, but uh, definitely if there's big news, he does post it. So we will tag all the links to that man and uh, on this on this podcast, and you definitely want to keep up to date with that because he's got some potentially big news he wants to drop. You know, so we can't disclose. He don't want to disclose, but big things coming for Josh Blaze at the end of the year, folks. Check out his new song. Check out his uh, upcoming news, and he's got a, some EP coming out, man, with some big names that helped him out with it, man. So, man, we, we really appreciate you coming on, Josh. I uh, appreciate it, man. Uh, y'all, be, uh, y'all be sure to catch, uh, catch me and Clay Cormay, uh, one, of, one, of my, one of my favorite artists, mainstream or, um, or independent. Uh, me and him is going to be in New Iberia September 7th. Um, I got a lot of stuff coming up here. I'm announced here in a few weeks when uh, the Ohio, West Virginia, PA area, um, going to Nashville in November and December. Um, a lot of good stuff coming up. Uh, working on some stuff with uh, Mr. Todd O'Neill, uh, Mr. Guy Thrigdon, uh, Mr. Josh Phillips, Mr. Jacob Bryant. Me and him's talking about getting something together early next year. And, uh, you know, just kind of stay tuned to so- this social media thing that I don't like doing. Uh, and, uh, and stay up to date I'm working on some new merch uh merchandise right now uh just try to get out of everybody um just stay tuned man man there are big things coming for josh blaze for the rest of 2018 guys y'all stay tuned for that and y'all stay tuned to the bayou country music association show thanks guys had a great time talking with josh blaze a uh, great up-and-coming artist from louisiana doing big things there with some big names, man. Jacob Bryan, Josh Phillips on his, uh, helping him with that EP coming out, man. So you definitely want to keep your eyes on Josh Blaze. We always thank our sponsors and friends at the end of each podcast. Southern Sound Outfitters, they've been with us since day one, and we support them. They have a brand new website, southernsoundoutfitters.com. Brand new shiny website with some new stuff, some lady tanks for the summer, new designs. And they also have... A sale, hat sale, enter in the promo code, capital B, capital C, capital M, capital A, two, zero, at checkout, and get 20% off of your total price. That's capital, all caps now, B, C, M, A, two, zero, at checkout, in the promo box, and you get 20% off. Southern Sound Outfitters, create your own stage. Swamp Assassin. Check out their website. They got some new fishing shirts out right now. Check out their frogging shirts. They got restocked in all your favorite hat designs. The Retriever Patches, the Ranch Series, all your favorites with some new designs. Check them out at SwampAssassin.com. Also, the Cajun Cotton shirts in the Print Shop Underground tab. All of the above. Great merchandise at SwampAssassin.com. It's hot, it's summertime, you need a good ice chest, you don't feel like paying crazy prices, want to support a local business, check our buddies out with Swamp Gear Roto Molded Ice Chest. These things are durable, these things are rugged, these things look good, and they also can be custom engraved. Check out all the different size options, all the colors online at SwampShop.com. There's a locally owned business out of Louisiana, check them out swampshop.com also want to thank our sponsors with wild lane apparel these ladies have outdone themselves with apparel they have everything from shirts ball caps leather goods jewelry 
anything to do with the Red Dirt, Texas music, Oklahoma, the whole Red Dirt scene of uh, music, it is uh, some great apparel, some great merchandise. Check it out at wild, L-A-N-E-T-X dot com. Check out those social medias. Great Oklahoma-owned ba- uh, business. Uh, great, great, great merchandise. Check them out. Also, we'd have to thank our uh, our venue sponsors, Cowboys in Lafayette, Louisiana. Cowboys Nightclub. Great place to go listen to some live music on the weekends. They have some great shows lined up. To keep up with all of their upcoming shows and artists, follow them on Facebook, Instagram, even Twitter. Or go check them out on their website, calendar, at CowboysLafayette.com. Also, Silver Saloon in Terrell, Texas. Great place to go. Listen to some great country music. To keep up with all their events and live music, keep up with their Facebook page, their Instagram, and their Twitter at the Silver Saloon in Terrell, Texas. Well, like I said, we are very proud members of the Texas Country Music Association, and we are excited for October when the Texas Country Music Awards will be held at the Will Rogers Auditorium in Fort Worth. This year marks the second year, and it is going to be a good time. Get your tickets now online at the Texas Country Music Association dot org. Be sure and get them today. It's going to be a great time, and that is a great organization doing big things. Another organization doing big things out of Texas is the Rodeo Time Incorporated and the Winnebago Rodeo Company, owned by Dale Brisby. Check out DaleBrisby.com and get yourself some Dale wear. We thank you guys for tuning in, and if you would like to be Mentioned on the Bayou Country Music Association show or advertised on our show or website, please send us an email at bayoucountrymusic.com featuring your company or organization and your contact information, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys for listening to this episode, and we will see you down the road.